it's Nathan. Hi! So today I have a review for you and it is from Boohoo Man. I was browsing for clothes, as I always do, because Boohoo is great for cheap clothes. If you've not been on there, where the hell have you been? But I didn't realise that they now do hair products. They do a whole range of different things. But I noticed three hair products in particular and I thought, I am purchasing these, I am doing a full review on it, why the hell not? So this is a first impressions and a review of the Boohoo Man's hair care range. So I've got the hair clay, I've got the white musk scented hair gel and the blueberry scented hair gel. I saw them and I was like, right, these deserve a review on my channel, 100%. So just as a little side note, I purchased these with my own money. This is in no way affiliated with Boohoo Man. I do love their stuff, so if they'd like to get in touch, hit me up. But no, this is my purchase. I just really wanted to review these because I was very intrigued and their price point is incredible. So let's do a first impressions and a review of the three men's hair products. So before we get started, as with all of my product reviews, I base it on three things and that is packaging, product and price. These are the three things that I look for when I'm buying something for myself. So I feel like it's the best way for me to review it to see if it's worthy of your purchase. So let's get into it because I'm super, super excited about this. So the first section is packaging. Now, I was slightly disappointed, this is just a personal preference, that they're not all in the same kind of packaging. I really wish that the hair clay was in this metal style. I mean, they are very flimsy metal. I think it would look so nice if they were all in the same style packaging. I don't understand why this one had to be in a plastic container. It should have been in this. I think these look really nice. This looks cheap. Do you know what I mean? So that is my only downside of the packaging. I love the tin containers and that looks really classy. It looks like boohoo, do you know what I mean? Whereas this one just looks like I could have got this in a 99p shop. This is just the packaging, this is not the products guys. So we'll, we'll get to that. But that is my only thing about these. Um, it has all of the ingredients on the front. It tells you what the product is. And that's the same on all of them, which I really like. And then it's got their expiry dates and labels on the back. Wished all three of them were like that. I'm fortunate that this one's in this, but hey ho. So now comes my favorite part and that is product. The most important bit in my opinion. Doesn't really matter about what the product looks like as long as the product works. So I'm gonna start with the hair clay. It smells, oh my God, oh my God, it's on the tip of my tongue. What does it smell like? It's kind of like cucumbery. I've used a product like this before. I feel like it's maybe Bedhead by TG. It's a premium product, I know that. It smells exactly like a premium product. That is bugging me. I think it's TG, but it's really, really nice scent anyway. Really fresh, really like that. Um, yeah, it's like a, almost kind of moussey. There's like bubbles on the top. But yeah, it's definitely a clay formula. Not too sticky, which I love. So hopefully this clay is gonna give me a really nice matte finish which if you guys have been a watcher of my channel for a while you know that I love a matte finish so super excited I mean I think the best way for me to actually review it is to try it on my hair so let's try it right so I'm going to test out the hair clay first I've washed all the products out of my hair and this is just towel dried like I usually do I am hoping this is going to be a really nice matte clay smells great I really like the smell and it's a really nice consistency so I have a fingertip full Oh, it emulsifies to see through. So that's great because I don't like it when there's like too heavy. Start at the back and work your way to the front so that you don't get like too much product in the front because it just doesn't look good. Well, I really like the feel of it. It does give you like an instant matte. Even though my hair is still a little bit damp from the shower, it's kind of made it dry and matte and I love that. Um, Guys, I am... Really, really impressed with that. That kind of styled my hair pretty instantly. It's dried it like that matte feel that I really like. The smell is still there. I can smell it lingering and it smells so clean and fresh. It's kind of cucumbery, kind of watermelon-like. It's just very fresh. It's not like in your face, but you can smell it, you know? Really like the finish. I was not expecting to like the finish this much. I can feel that that's gonna last. Like it's still movable, still workable, but it's matte and it doesn't look greasy. I'm kind of living for this, really. Well, hello, boohoo man. I'm impressed. Let's try the next one. Next up, we have the White Musk Scented Hair Gel. Now, I'm excited to smell these. Oh, hello. <laughs> that's the protective lid. Oh. I mean, there, there is a scent there, but it's ever so slight. I wouldn't say that was a white musk either. It just smells clean, like step out of the shower smell. I mean, it's nice. It's not, it's not like 
there's not a smell, but it doesn't smell like how I was expecting it to smell, you know? But this is a clear gel. Do you remember the old squeezy tubes that like make your hair go white and flaky after a while? Kind of feels like that. I'm hoping it's not like that, but that's that's how it feels. That wet, clear gel. Mm. Like I said, the best way for me to review it is to try it, so I'm a little bit nervous about this one because I'm not the biggest fan of wet looks. And that looks like the cheap old style wet look gel. Let's give it a try. Okay, this one is the White Musk Scented Hair Gel. I was a little bit nervous about this one because it is... I really don't like this lid. Because it is like the old style gels. I'm hoping it's not going to be like it when it's gone in my hair. But let's give it a go. Like last time, no products in my hair. This is just towel dried. It works in the hair really nice, that's for sure. Actually, guys, I... I'm pleasantly surprised. It's not sticky like the old gels. You know the old gels, they'd be like, <coughs> gross. It's not sticky. There is a shine to it, which I was expecting because it does look like a wet look gel, but it's not like greasy. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think my hair looks greasy right now. I can't say I can smell it. I would say that the clay one that I just used smells stronger than this one, and this one's marketed as a smelly hair gel. I wouldn't buy it if you just want white musk smell, but I am pleasantly surprised with how it has controlled my hair. It's not a hard gel. Do you remember the old gels that I said that flake, they went rock solid, didn't they? This doesn't feel like it's like it's gonna go rock solid. This feels like it's movable. I don't think it's got a very high hold. So don't buy it if you want a strong hold gel, but if you want something just to make your hair like shine a little bit and control your hair, this, yeah. Let's try the next one. Now this one, this is the blueberry scented hair gel that I've been so excited. When I saw this online, this was the one I saw first and I was like, boohoo do hair gel and it's blueberry scented, sign me up. So this one I'm super excited about. Oh my God, it's bright blue, bright blue. That is so cool. Oh, that smells incredible. That smells like blueberry. And not even like the fake nasty blueberry, it smells like real blueberry. Oh, I love that. But I am a little bit worried because it is the clear, looks like the squeezy tube hair gel again, doesn't it? It doesn't feel as wet as the white musk one, so there's hope there. But the smell, I'm living for it. I'm excited to try it, I'm just hoping it's not too wet. Oh, the smell though, wow. Love that, well done Boohoo, right. Let's try it. So I've washed all the products out of my hair. It's just towel dried like before. And this is the one that I was most excited about. And that is the blueberry scented hair gel. Again, I'm a little bit worried because it does look like the old style wet look gels, but based on the white musk one, I was quite impressed with that. So let's give this one a go. Okay, so it doesn't stay blue, so that's good. Oh, the smell just gets even stronger when it's on your hair. I really love it. This has the same finish as the white musk one. I can already tell that by the feel of it. Again, not sticky at all. And it controls the hair. Like there's a slight bit of shine in there, but not grease, which really appeals to me. It's not a high hold one. I can feel that already. It's definitely not a high hold. So if you want a strong hold, probably not the best range for you. But that means it doesn't go hard. It doesn't go crunchy like the old style gels. So even though it looks like the old style gel, it clearly has a reworked formula. This actually feels really nice and lightweight on the hair. It just controls it. I think it's still gonna be movable through the day, but at least you can put it in the places that you want it to go, which I really like. I like to be able to rework my hair if I want to. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm very impressed. The blueberry smell does tone down quite a bit on the hair. So if you're like me and you don't wanna smell the product all day, then this is good because I don't think this is gonna last all day. I can still smell the blueberry now, but it's not overpowering, which is great, because I much prefer my body to smell like the aftershaves and the perfumes that I apply, not my hair gel. Wow, well done. And finally, this moves us on to price. You guys know that if you've watched my channel before, I love a bargain. I never see the point in paying extortionate prices just for a brand name, for the product not to work. I would much rather spend my money on a product that works. So that's why I do these reviews, to see if it's worthy of your purchase. Well, I can tell you that these are five pounds each. Five pounds, like I love Boohoo for a bargain. And you know that Boohoo always has deals on. At the time of purchase, these were actually three pound 25 each. I can't even buy a coffee for that. I am so, so impressed. If you're looking for a hair gel or a hair clay, might be worth giving these a go, guys. I'm very, very impressed with the hair clay. I much prefer matte looking products when I'm going out and about. 
for this hair clay. I think this is going to be my travel companion from now on. I'm very impressed by the longevity, by how it feels on my hair, and the scent. I love that. These two, I think I would probably use these for more relaxed days when I don't want my style to stay in place. Like now I can tell this isn't gonna make my hair stay in place the whole day, but it will control it and stop it frizzing, which is great. So these will probably be like my relaxed days. If you've got a relaxed hairstyle, these will be perfect for you. And the smell of them is incredible. The white musk doesn't have so much of a scent really it, there is a slight scent there but it goes pretty instantly the blueberry one lasts for a little bit longer and it smells divine but for five pound each full price and you know that boohoo is never a full price you can pick these up for an absolute steal so overall i think it's a win i am so impressed boohoo man like i love your clothes anyway i love how cheap you are i love your discount codes incredible site for men because let me tell you men's clothes are freaking expensive. So a place for Boohoo Man that is kind of like fashion that is cheap, win. Absolute win. These are really, really decent. I'll leave the links below so that you can make a purchase if you'd like. They definitely get a thumbs up from me. The packaging is okay. The product, brilliant. And the price, fantastic. Worthy of a purchase. Guys, if you use any of these Boohoo men's products, do you shop at Boohoo? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. So guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please make sure you give me a massive thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. I also have other social channels. I have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the name at That's Nathan. I would love to see you guys over there. If I'm not posting here, I'll be posting over there so we can always stay connected. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. See ya!